annual music festival known as Tommy Stock kicked off on Friday, July 26th and offered live music, food, and refreshments all weekend long. Eight different bands performed at the Fireball on Friday and Saturday, while DJ Rolling Rock provided the entertainment at the Tiki Bar near the beach at Tommy's Lake. So really the setup out here begins on Thursday. The friends of Camp Agawam do such a great job setting up, so that was Thursday. Friday rolled around and it was time to get the show going, so we had the first bands on Friday night, which was such a good success. There was so much to do here all weekend. There were vendors, there were food trucks, there was the music, there was the tiki bar. You could be anywhere. The electric Agawam was up there too, so if you liked electric music or you like silent disco, we had that too. The annual event is organized by the Friends of Camp Agawam and all money raised goes toward making improvements to Camp Agawam. So all the money raised at Tommy Stock goes right back into the camp. So the railing that we talked about, the rocks, all of the safety things, we're looking at some additions and some special things coming out here in the coming years. So all that's how we fundraise for it. On Saturday night, the always popular band known as Air Margaritaville took to the stage. The Jimmy Buffett tribute band packed the fireball amphitheater. We played last year, had a great time. The stands were all full here right up to the top of the hill. It was wonderful, a wonderful experience for us, and we're happy to be back. It's a real thrill for us. The weekend wound down on Sunday with Boobs, Tubes, and Dudes, a fundraiser that kicks off the Real Men of Orion campaign to raise awareness and money for breast cancer research and support. Visitors took part in a 50-50 raffle and enjoyed food, drinks, and a live performance by the duo known as Kish Licious. This is it. This is our kickoff event for the Real Men of Orion. Uh, it starts our fundraising campaign for the American Breast Cancer Society. This is our kickoff event. We're glad to have you here. I think the biggest thing is to bring attention to the cause, um, obviously to raise money and awareness for, for breast cancer research and, and fundraising, but um, it's just to get the community involved. And, and it's amazing when you start, you know, maybe in 20 minutes you'll start seeing people walking down with big fl pink flamingo floats coming down here and jumping in the water and we get a big picture with everyone in the water. It just it's this Lake Orion community is amazing is. And, and how how much they come out and support this. I mean, we see a lot of familiar faces and then we have different events throughout the throughout the campaign that brings in new faces. So, you know, we have golf outings, we have parties at, at, at our houses, we have uh, um, karaoke nights and stuff like that. So we do all we try to we try to instill fun into all the fundraising that we do. So the money will go towards breast cancer research as well as services. Uh, for cancer patients and caregiving um, caregivers. Is, um, for instance, we have our 24-7 line. Let's say you're diagnosed with cancer today. You don't know who to talk to. You don't have support. Finally, at 2 a.m. in the morning, you think, I need to talk with someone. We'll connect you with someone that's going through the same thing as you're going through, as well as provide all the resources you need to make you feel comfortable. Even though the event today is bringing Tommy Stock to a close, this is just the beginning for the Real Men of Orient to start fundraising efforts today here on out into October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. From Camp Aguam, I'm Lexi McKinney reporting for ONTV News.